question number 1.9 class 11 ncert physics so the question is the photograph on a house occupies an area of 1.75 cm square one a 35 mm slide okay now the slide is projected on a screen and the area of the house on the screen is 1.55 meter square what is the linear magnification of the projector screen arrangement okay so this is the question now we can see that in this question it is telling that the area of a photo a picture which is 1.75 centimeter square okay and the final area when it is projected on the screen that is 1.55 meter square so this data 35 mm this data that is the slide on which the photo was there initially this is not at all required okay so you have two data that is the initial area which is 1.75 centimeter square and the area when it is projected on a screen is 1.55 meter square so what is the magnification in linear scale because in the question it is telling what is the linear magnification got it to solve this question first you have to understand one thing guys what is linear magnification so suppose this is a length okay suppose this is the length and this length is a if the linear magnification is alpha then final length will be alpha into a this will be final length okay so if this is initial length let me write if this is initial length then the final length will be alpha into a and this alpha a will be the final length where alpha is the magnification magnification basically this is linear magnification okay so now in the question they are asking about linear magnification now we have to understand the relationship between linear magnification and the magnification in the area okay so you consider on initial area okay suppose okay so i have drawn suppose this is the initial area a i and this is the final area that is a f so the initial length was a and the breadth was b and the final length that is a x and the final breadth is b x what does it mean this means that the magnification the linear magnification is x that's why the length and breadth both are magnified by a factor x okay so the initial area you see the initial area is nothing but the initial area is a b and the final area a f the final area is a x into b x which is nothing but a b into x square so we can write that a i into x square okay so we can see that the final area final area a f is x square time multiplied by initial area isn't it so we can think that if the linear magnification is x then the magnification in area will be x square okay so in the opposite way you can think that if the magnification in area is x square then definitely the magnification there is a linear magnification will be x so let us find the magnification in area you can see that the uh, magnification magnification in area you can first write correct no? magnification in area is equal to linear magnification linear magnification magnification square got it linear magnification square so here here magnification in area magnification in area here magnification in area will be final area divided divided by initial area 
which is equal to what is final area final area is 1.55 meter square divided by initial area is given 1.75 centimeter square okay which is equal to 1.55 into 10 to the power 4 this much centimeter square divided by 1.75 centimeter square the both centimeter square will cancel each other so this is basically 10 to the power 4 into 1.55 divided by 1.75 okay so linear magnification now you tell me so linear magnification magnification definitely will be equal to this root of this thing that means 10 to the power 4 into 1.55 divided by 1.75 so 1.4 so 10 to the power 2 will come outside and 1.55 divided by 1.75 this is 100 into if you calculate this you will get 0 0.941 so this will be 94.1 so this is the answer hope you understood